In the previous video, we left off with previewing the live stats, flow, SEO, graphs, and the goals feature. In this video, we're going to take a look at the history, anti-spam, emails, database, and the components and module features. Now, on the history page, it, it shows you a list of visitors, the history of visitors that visited the page. It showed the... Um, the last 200 records so it's almost similar to the live stats page the only um, difference is that you get 200 records now here it's showing you a globe again all of these um, these features were in the live stats feature you get the globe where you click on the globe and it will toggle another window that will come up and it will show you the location of the visitor and the IP of the visitor and you can look up the um, visitors IP then it gives you the flag and again it allows you to toggle the block ip feature if you want to block an ip and then it gives you the browser and the operating system and then here it shows you the latest activity on the website and then you get a window as before where you can block an ip add a page as a goal and add this url parameter as a goal so that's it for the uh the history page and then you have a navigation at the bottom of it where you can go through the various pages to look at the visitors information the next page is the anti-spam information the anti-spam feature now what this feature does is it allows you to um, unblock IP addresses. So say for instance, you block a specific IP. This would be the page you would come to to unblock the IP of a spammer or maybe they um, made some other attempts on the website. This is where you would come to unblock the IP. Then again, here you have the anti-spam settings. This just gives you a um, the most common keywords that's used to spam your website. So here you notice if you scroll down to the bottom, it shows the most common spam words used by spam bots. And you can use you can read this at your leisure, but that's what this settings is for. So if you click on this box here, it will enable the setting. The next feature is the email features. And what that feature does is it allows you to receive email reports via email. So you would get the previous visitor stats from the night before in an email. And if you scroll down, it would show here you see it says uh, generated filtered email report from yesterday. It shows you the goals information. Um, you can see the values and the percentage here and then it gives you a one day, seven day and 28 day chain. So you can see where it increased or where it decreased. Then it gives you the pages, the pages that were accessed. It gives you the referrers, Google, um, the JET extensions directory, and some other referrers. Then it gives you keywords and key phrases. And again, it gives you the countries, IPs, users, browsers, and the type of operating system. So all of that data you get in a email. The next feature is the database feature. And what that feature does is it allows you to be able to view the sizes of the tables inside of your database. So this is a great feature as well. Um, for instance, it shows you users like right now it's 6,946 users. If you were to get a thousand more users, of course the database would increase. And so this is what this is for, just watching the, um, the database and the increase and decrease in, in the tables in the table sizes. And the components and modules feature is kind of similar to the database feature. It just allows you to monitor the um, components and the modules and the size of those components and modules. So that's it for the uh, Joomla Watch. The Joomla Watch Pro version of the software. So make sure you visit codegravity.com. and purchase the Joomla Watch Pro version of the software.